In this video, we'll see how to calculate the NPV with the help of an example. So, here as we can see in time 0, we have the negative cash flow as 10 followed by 20, 30, 40 as the positive cash flows in the next 3 years and let's assume the rate of interest or the discounting rate to be 10%. So, first we'll fill in uh, these cash flows. As you can see here, CF in the calculator stands for cash flow. We'll press and then CF0 stands for the, for the cash flow at time 0, which is negative 10 here. So, we'll enter 10, reset so that we get the negative 10 and then don't forget to press enter to store the value. Then we'll pr press on the downward arrow and this stands for the cash flow at time 1. So, which is 20, enter. Now, this stands for the frequency. So, how many times the figure 20 is being repeated? In our example, we only have it once, but I'll explain the frequency uh, function better in the next example. So, let the frequency be 1. Then we have 30, enter. Again, the frequency is 1. Then the last cash flow, 40, enter, and the frequency is 1. So, this is done. Now, to calculate the NPV, we'll press on NPV, and I stands for the discounting rate, which in our example is 10 which we always enter in the percentage form. So, we'll press 10, enter and then we go down NPV and we press on compute to get the value. So, this is the NPV in this example. Now, we'll take another example of NPV to understand better. So, here again we have the negative cash flow at time 0 as minus 10, then followed by 10, positive 10 for 3 years, 0 and then 20 and again the rate of interest we have is 10%. So, we click on CF, first cash flow at time 0, 10 and reset to get the negative value and don't forget to press enter. Then the first cash flow or the first like at time 1 is 10. So, we enter 10 and then this time the frequency will be 3 because as you can see we have entered 10 like we have 10 for 3 years, 3, enter. So, this saves time so that you don't have to enter 10 again and again. Then we go down and the next cash flow we have is that is cash flow number 2. This was 0, 1 and this is 2, 0. Enter and this we have only 1 so the frequency will be 1 and then the third cash flow that we have is 20. So, enter and again the frequency here will be 1. Now, we press on NPV and 10 because that's the rate of interest and NPV compute. So, we get the NPV.